Kelly Leach, uh, why were these employers granted permission to hire temporary foreign workers when clearly the minister was warned a year ago in the same province, in the same profession, people on EI were looking for work? Well, as we've outlined several times, we're about making sure that Canadians can be connected to available jobs. And when those individuals are not available, to make sure that a firm can prosper, the temporary foreign worker program is available to them. We just continue, we've, we've continued to move forward to make sure that Canadians have options and make sure that Canadians are linked to jobs. All right. So we move forward well before that, concerned about making sure that Canadians through employment insurance were better linked to Canadian jobs, putting forward reforms that we felt, and I think the Canadian public agrees with, that we want to make sure that Canadian jobs are available to Canadians first. And moving forward. What have we done? We've seen also some issues with respect and I've been very concerned about the Temporary Foreign Worker Program. So we've now moved forward with reforms to the Temporary Foreign Worker Program, again, to make sure Canadians are at the front of the line for jobs. Okay, but you know, can I, we've can taken I just ask, action on both cases. I, but I haven't gotten an answer to the question. Did the Minister investigate these specific cases? With respect to the document, Evan? The yeah, minister, I mean, pretty, the it's minister, pretty specific. The minister took action before the document. Okay, so, but, clear, okay, but, so. But, but, well, she, obviously, if she took action before the document, it wasn't working because the document arrives and it says there's, there's abuses. So I guess my question is, once she was aware of these specific abuses, did she Evan, take action? Evan, we've been very specific about the amount of time and effort the minister and the department have put into making sure the integrity of the EI system has been in place. She continues to do that. She'll continue to do it for going forward. <laughs> We're focused on making sure Canadians are linked to jobs and that Canadian jobs are available to Canadians first and then the temporary foreign worker program available to them if a firm still requires labour because of having an acute labour shortage in a local area. Well, clearly, Kelly Leach, again, I'm just... Can you just help me understand, if you can, when we read this document, it's pretty clear that the system isn't working as it's supposed to be. How, are, how many warnings has the minister over time got about this, and were the changes initially designed to fix this, and did they just not work? Well, Evan, there was concern with respect to linking the temporary foreign worker program with employment insurance prior to the 2012 budget. And that's why our announcement in that budget of better linking the programs, and then a series of initiatives following that. So whether that be job alerts that, you know, the young people in my riding are actually delighted that they're actually hearing about jobs so they can apply for them now. But Kelly, they're the pleased that there are opportunities for them that are being highlighted. And then moving forward in 2013, our budget focused on making sure that individuals, young Canadians and older Canadians even, have access to a new Canada Jobs Grant, a way of actually getting the skills they need to be able to access but a job with all due respect, today, Kelly, so in the, there's a couple complaints here. One is that people on EI, so Canadians looking for jobs aren't getting these jobs. Okay. The second mm -hmm. thing is these are, what it says here to the minister, these are food counter attendants. These aren't high-skilled jobs, which was fundamentally <laughs> the purpose of temporary food. Oh, and, you're right, and you're right, So, Evan, so we, is, that a, is that abuse in the system? Evan, we had a challenge, and that's why we moved forward what with challenge? a number of changes to make sure that Canadians are better linked to jobs. So about 30 seconds, but Kelly, that's a fair question. This is a year ago. So the, items it, the, the changes to accelerated labor market opinions, which was a big issue on food counter tenants, that took a year after this, just last week. That's the first question. And the second question, and I think it's a legitimate question to raise, is the, the, the time it took to make these changes, and in that time, the number of temporary foreign workers in Canada actually went up, not down. Well, two items. Number one, Huge. the document that you're referring to, Evan, those items were then subsequently after that, the issues addressed. We move forward with job alerts. We've made sure that Canadians after knew more of... Evan, Actually, if I no, could. Well, well I'll let Kelly, Kelly Leach, <laughs> real quick to Kelly Leach and then Roger Kuzder very quickly. Thanks. Go ahead. Yep. So, the issues along the document addressed, moved forward, action taken. So that when? issue had uh, dealt with within six months, actually probably within three months following that. Let's be very clear. Problem identified, problem fixed, action taken.
I, I have to get this plug in. I'm not paid for this one, but we started cleaning up the uh, Andy uh, started cleaning up the mess, the left wing mess federally in this area. Rob's doing it <coughs> municipally, and now we got to complete the to complete the hat trick and do it provincially as well. Champion finance minister, and I have here today the world championship finance minister belt. And Minister Flaherty, he also puts truth to the word of the fighting Irish. And uh, it really is an honor and privilege to be here with our great Prime Minister and Minister Flaherty. And we're going to put it on him right now. So get your cameras ready. Notice in the corner, our saying of our Canadian Services Boxing Association is, we're in your corner, and we know the Minister Flaherty, the Fords, the Prime Minister and Conservative Party of Canada are in your corner. So let's give him a great big hand, everybody. A real champion. Um, all of these, all of these nice things. This celebration tonight, and thank you, Kelly and Patrick, of course, uh, for, for being key to organizing this. I very much appreciate it. You know, this